What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the best performance in Steam VR. And this is updated for 2024, so this should be working for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do, as always, is go into the bottom left-hand corner, click on the Windows icon, and type in NVIDIA. Either GeForce Experience, or if you have the new NVIDIA app, go ahead and open that. Or if you have AMD's software, you're going to want to go to your driver section. And click on the latest driver. I'm going to check for updates. And as you can see, I have the latest version installed, which at the time of this video is 5.56.12. Released June 26th, 2024. Then you're going to want to minimize out of that and head over to the bottom left-hand corner once again. And you're going to want to type in power. And right here, click on choose a power plan. This menu should open up. And click on the high performance and if you want to go into some of the settings you can I just have my computer never going to sleep and the display turn off to 15 minutes then you can go ahead and close out of that and we're gonna actually go into Steam VR now okay now here we are in Steam VR and as you're gonna see you have your menu here what you're gonna to do go to the bottom left hand corner click on VR settings and go over to where it says your um, render resolution Make sure that is set to auto, or if you want to go custom and limit it to 100, which is what I normally keep it on, you could even bump this down to about 80%, which really doesn't take much of a hit if you have an index. But you're going to make sure you're showing these advanced settings here, because after you're done selecting either custom, 80, 100, or auto, you're going to want to go down to where it says developer, and you're going to want to show your performance graph in the headset. If you don't have FPS VR like I do, you're going to want to click this to on, and you can see your performance down in the bottom of your VR headset. Um, this is actually very useful for uh, monitoring performance in-game. So another thing you're going to want to head to is video, and you're going to want to go down to uh, where you see advanced super sample filtering, and that should be under advanced settings. You can turn that off. That should save you some performance. Um, also, what will save you some performance is your overlay render quality, which is what you know, your FPS VR, some of your overlays get rendered in the Steam window itself. You're going to want to set that to either low, medium, or high, or you could have it set to auto, and that's what your system would recommend you to have it on. Um, pause VR when headset is idle doesn't really matter. I just leave that on because it's um, a lot more um, efficient. Startup slash shutdown. Have your displays turn off after about five seconds. That just saves power. Um, controllers I have set to either 5 or 10 minutes. Right now I have it set to 5. Here's where it really makes a difference. If you have your startup overlay app, you're going to want to make sure to turn all of these off. Um, I actually notice a difference when you are in game and you have OVR advanced settings. You're going to want to make sure that is turned off because it can actually save a lot of performance um, in game especially. Like a lot of performance. I'm talking milliseconds of performance. And you want your frame time to be as low as possible. And as you can see, if I switch to 120, you'll see that my minimum amount of frame time, it's 8.3 milliseconds now. Because it needs to run and keep up. If I set it to 144, it'll be 6.9 milliseconds, which is a lot more different. Most of you guys will be running at either 90, 80, or 72. The lowest I can go is 80, and that's 12.5. But you guys most likely are going to be running at um, 90 hertz, which would be 11.1 .1 milliseconds. So you're going to want to make sure that is the lowest it possibly can go. And with these settings, you should be getting good frames in game. Another thing you're going to want to keep in mind is you're going to still get lag. You're not going to lag much, but you're still going to lag. I have a 4090 and a Ryzen 9. And I still lag in some VR games. That's totally normal. You're going to lag, not because of your bottleneck, but just because of the game itself not being well optimized. One of the best examples I can think of is Blade and Sorcery or VR Chat. I have a 4090 and I lag in both of those games. It's just going to be normal. You're not going to remove all the performance, even if you have a top of the line NVIDIA GPU, a top of the line AMD GPU. They're still good graphics cards for what they're meant for, 4K gaming. They're also good at VR gaming as well, but the, the same thing applies. 
you have to have a game that's optimized for this stuff. Blade and Sorcery. When did this game come out? I'm pretty sure either 2017 or 2019. It's still not well optimized. They did release a new version of it. I haven't played yet. So I could be wrong about that. VR chat. I'm pretty sure it came out like 5, 10 years ago. It's not very well optimized. On desktop, it's good. But on VR, it still lags pretty hard. That's normal. You're going to receive that lag. You're going to receive that. Just because the game's not well optimized to make advantage of all your high-end hardware. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been receiving a tremendous amount of support on my old videos, a bunch of comments, a bunch of, you know, thank yous. You're welcome to all the people that said thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. You guys are what pushes me and keeps me going on this journey that I've been, you know, really thinking of just pushing forward with. And now that I'm really there, it, it, it doesn't feel like kind of real, you know, 460 people. That's a lot of people, you know, even just in my eyes, that's a lot of people. And I uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.